I'm Ariana Kaiser, and you're watching Week Bite. Huh. Senator Edward Ted Kennedy was laid to rest last week after losing his battle with brain cancer, causing former President Bush to remark, See? Brains ain't so great. Hey, hey, hey. A massive wildfire burned through the hills above Los Angeles last weekend, threatening countless homes and lives. Eventually, the fire was dealt with the way that all problems are dealt with in L.A. It was taken out for a latte and offered a development deal. Mandy Moore is absolutely heartbroken over the death of her boyfriend, DJ AM, and expects to be even more upset when she finds out who he is. Japan's long-ruling conservative party was met with a crushing defeat in last Sunday's election, so look for a spike in shame-based suicides and the sales of violent porn comics. A British oil deal has been linked to the release of the Lockerbie bomber. Wow. All I can say is shame on you, England. Have you learned nothing from us? If you want a country's oil, you're supposed to invade. In honor of Michael Jackson's 51st birthday, thousands of Mexico City residents took to the street in an effort to break the world record for the most people simultaneously dancing to Thriller. I'm pretty sure the previous record was broken by me and four girls from my dorm one drunken night in 2002 in a whole other part of Mexico. <laughs> Police rescued a kidnapped girl missing for 18 years from the backyard shed of a Lake Tahoe couple. Which leads to the obvious question, is that shed up for grabs now? <laughs> How much are they asking? Seriously, the rents up there are crazy. Seven people were found slain in a Georgia trailer park on Saturday morning. Jesus, these Jerry Springer auditions are getting way out of hand. That's it for now. We'll see you next time on Week Bite.